Hey guys, welcome back. This is the part four of our frequently asked Ruby on Rails question series. So let's start with another ten frequently asked question from this video. Explain strong parameters. So strong parameters are used in controllers to avoid forbidding so to submit forbidden uh, to avoid submission of forbidden attributes into the controller so you must have idea about the strong parameters and this is a very important concept that you need to uh, implement uh, your post actions securely in controllers how do you pass default argument to a controller action where you initiate a new model object and this answer you can find at the rails guide controllers in more detail What are turbo links into Rails? What do you mean by API versioning in Rails? Explain when there is a need to change the version of an API. This is the question which I have been asked in couple of interviews by clients and uh, in one interviews i failed to uh, properly answer that but uh, later on in another interview i answered that and get selected because uh, that time i had to work on an api project so you must know idea about the api versioning and when you need to change the version of an api so usually we need to change the version of an api when you when you have when we have to work on some features which are newer than the older api versions so but still Prepare this question at your end as well and you will get more better idea about that. What is the difference between before save, before create and before update? So before save, before create and before update, all these three are the active record callbacks and the before save will be executed on both whenever you create uh, before whenever you create a new record or whenever you update an existing record but before create will only work on the create action or whenever you create a new instance and before update will work before whenever you save an existing instance what do you mean by asset pipeline okay so asset pipeline by preparing this question you can know very much better that how you can serve your rails assets and how assets are served into a pipeline whenever your rails application uh, use those assets like your images your css files and your js files okay so prepare this question well what do you mean by default scope please explain so default scope is a kind of a scope uh, which will be executed whenever you access or whenever you try to fetch record from a model or from a model database table okay for example if you have defined a default scope by order id descending so whenever you perform any query on that model you will always get a record into the id by descending order explain routing in rails routing is a very uh, important feature of rails and you must know about that because it's the routing which make uh, possible to access your controller because without writing it is not possible to uh, identify that which controller will serve which request okay so whenever you uh, you make a request from the client or from the browser the first request come to the web server then server send it to the router and then it is the router who defines that which controller and which action of that controller should be used so there are different types of writing uh, routing as well like member routes and na collection routes uh, name space and scoped routes shallow routes uh, and you will get more better with that once you start reading uh, routing in details so please prepare that question in broader sense what do you mean by filter actions or controller callbacks explain so filter actions are the callbacks which you can use inside uh, your control files let's say before action after action around action and skip before action is skip after action and skip around actions so these are the callbacks which you can uh, implement some logic around your controller actions for example if you implement before action then uh, you usually want to perform some logic at uh, before serving uh, some logic or rendering a template before the action serve its request okay so these are the filter actions and you must have idea about that 
how can you handle active record record not found exception for all resources so this is the thing that you can implement in your application controller uh, and for example you first of all you will get active record record not found exception when you try to find a record with id or primary key which is not exist in the database okay or you supply the wrong id there and once you do that you will get this error so prepare this question and you can do this for both application in application controller for all the resources or in a specific controller for uh, a particular controller or a particular model so we saw 10 question in this series and thanks for watching this in another video we will see another 10 questions till then tata goodbye take care and stay safe and subscribe the channel for more